If we click on Assignments, you'll see there's a new assignment called Assignment 2, where I talk just a little bit about the escape, only a paragraph about the escape pathogens. And I've provided you links here to the three pages that I've just shown you. So um, the paper in, in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the USA. The blog post by Professor Holt, where she talked about the cool things that they found from this study. And then um, the metadata link to the, the table that I showed you with the, with the, the map and, and all of the table data. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to download the data, the raw unassembled data. We're going to do an assembly on that data. And we're going to annotate the genome that results from that assembly. Each of you are going to do one genome. And then when we get towards the end where we've actually all annotated it, we're going to take one of the proteins out of the genome, and we're going to create a single file, and we're going to align all of those proteins, and we're going to try and redraw some of the figures from the paper that they made. We're not going to do them all because we're not doing all 300 genomes. We're only going to do about 40 of them. Right? But I tried to choose 40 that would tell us a little story once we get to that end point. So we're going to walk through the steps of creating this data set, and then at the end, we'll have a little comparative data set that we can compare. So the first thing that we want to do is download and assemble the sequence data. So in the first assignment that I want you to complete this week, we're going to download the genome. I want you to report the the unassembled size of the genome, so how many base pairs it has, the unassembled size of the genome in terms of how many reads there are in the data set, and then after you've assembled it, I want you to report the number of contigs that you found, the longest contig, and the length of the contig that contains 50% of the data, the N50. That's all you have to do this week, okay? And then in subsequent weeks, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the number of ORFs and the length of the longest ORF, and then we're going to look at tRNAs and, um, sorry, ribosomal RNAs and tRNAs, and then we're going to look at, at hypothetical and real proteins. So it's going to be the same data set that you're going to play with over the next few weeks. Yeah? Does that make sense? <laughs>